Hello everyone, we have your exponential equation. 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equals 8 to the power of x. And in this video, we'll be solving for the real values of x. So we have here each term involves exponentials with variable x. The best way to solve this kind of equation is to reduce the number of terms involving exponentials with variables from three terms to just two terms. So to achieve this goal, all we have to do is divide the whole equation with any of the three terms. You can be, it can be divided by 2x or 4x or 8x. All right, so let's start solving. So in here, as the first step is to divide the whole equation with 2 to the power of x. Since it seems dividing by 2 to the power of x, it seems like that's the shortest solution that we have to do. All right, let's do it. 2 to the power of x plus 4 power of x equals 8 power of x. Divide by 2 to the power of x. Simplify the terms of the equation. So 2 divided by 2, both power of x, this becomes 1. And second term, 4 divided by 2, both raised to the power of x, can be written the same way as like this. And the same way on the right hand side of the equation, 8 over 2 to the power of x. So the equation now becomes 1 plus 4 divided by 2. That's 2 to the power of x equals 8 divided by 2. That's 4 to the power of x. The right hand side of the equation can be written the same way as 4 is 2 squared raised to the power of x. And the left hand side remains the same. 1 plus 2 to the power of x. And now let's arrange the terms of the equation. So the equation now becomes. 2 squared to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. And we further arrange the first term. The exponent now becomes 2 to the power of x squared minus 2 to the power of x minus 1 equals 0. The equation now involves two terms with exponentials. 2x squared and 2 to the power of x. Now, the equation now is uh, transformed into a, a quadratic equation. So from here, we're introducing a new variable to represent 2 to the power of x. And let's define that variable as y. So let, uh, let y be 2 to the power of x. So the equation now becomes y squared minus y minus 1 equals zero. So in here, we get the value of y by using the quadratic formula. So let's do that. So we have here the equation now, y squared minus y minus one equals zero. And a here, the coefficients of its terms, a is one, b is negative one, and c is negative one. And the quadratic formula, we have here the quadratic formula. What we have to do now is substitute the value of a, b, and c into this equation to solve for the value of y. And so we have the value of y now is equal to. So we have here the values of a, b, c substituted to the quadratic formula, y. And we have the value now is equal to. So this is negative 1 times negative, negative that is positive, and then plus or minus. This is negative 1 squared is 1 minus uh, 4 times negative 1, this is uh, negative, and this is negative, they will be positive. So pl plus 4, and divided by 2 times a is 1, so that is 2. So the value of y from here is equal to 1, plus or minus, square root of 4 plus 1 is 5, or divide by 2. So that's the value of y, so that is y equals 1 plus or minus, square root of 5, divided by 2. Let's recall that y is just a substituted variable. That is y is equal to 2 to the power of x. And from here, if you notice, the value of 2 to the power of x is positive and y must be a positive value the same way. 
And since here, the value of y will be 2, since we have two roots of 5 positive and negative, we'll be discarding the negative root of 5. So we can have a positive value for the variable of y. So it fits in this amount right here, value that is positive 2 to the power of x. y now will be using the positive root of 5, so 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So from here to extract the value of x, we'll be taking the logarithm on both sides of the equation or natural logarithm on both sides. So we have now ln of 2 to the power of x is equal to ln of this value 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Taking the exponent x as the coefficient so we have now x ln of 2 is equal to ln of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So x now becomes ln of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 all over ln of 2 or the natural logarithm of 2. So this is now the exact value of x. And now for the sake of checking our answer, all we have to do is uh, get the numerical value of x so we can uh, substitute this value into the original equation so we can verify our answer if it's correct or wrong. So the uh, numerical value of x now is equal to 0.6942. Since this is uh, reduced to the nearest four decimal places over here, so this must be the uh, approximate value. Now we're checking our answer. So we're substituting the value of x to the original equation since we have here the original equation now. 2 to the power of x plus 4 power x equals 8 to the power x. Substitute this value of x. So the first term on the left now, 2 to the power of x, that is 1.6179. Then plus the second term, 4 to the power of x, where x is this value, is equal to 2.6178 and is this equal to 8 to the power of x on the right side of the equation so 8 to the power of x is equal to 4.2357 so adding this up 1.6179 plus 2.6178 this is now equal to 4.2 2357 is equal to that's the same way on here right side 4.2357 so this just confirms value of x is correct so we have just confirmed our answer value of x is correct so this is our final answer uh, this is the exact value and this is the approximate value all right Thank you very much and thank you for watching and I hope you like this video and learned something from here and for those new to my channel and those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate and say thank you if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. I will see you on the next one. Bye.